Hello everyone, welcome to our channel Ashok IT. My name is Ashok. In this video, we will understand what is the DevOps life cycle, what are the seven stages involved in DevOps life cycle. Alright, let's get started. What is the DevOps? DevOps is the combination of development plus operations. Currently, in the companies we are following this DevOps culture to automate application deployment process. In the project, development team will be available and operations team will be available. Development team is responsible to write the code. Operations team is responsible to build and deploy that code into server. As development team and operations team working on the project for high quality deliveries, there should be some collaboration between development team and operations team. That's where DevOps culture comes into picture. We can call DevOps is a process, DevOps is a methodology, DevOps nothing but set up practices to simplify our application development and delivery process. Now, here in order to develop and deliver our applications to the clients, we are going to follow a life cycle. So we can call that as software development life cycle. So what is a life cycle? It is a methodology which represents from starting to ending what work that we have to do. Alright, so here we can see there are seven stages available in our DevOps life cycle. Those are seven stages we can also call as seven C's of DevOps. The seven stages we can call as seven C's of DevOps. So what are those seven stages or seven C's? The first one is continuous planning. What we want to develop and what we want to deliver, we have to plan it first. Once planning is completed, then continuous development is required. Development team comes into picture, they will write the code based on the given requirement. And continuous integration is required. Multiple developers will be available in the team and those developers will be working from different different locations. All the developers code should be integrated at one place and if any changes are required we will be modifying that code and we are going to integrate that code into existing the project source code. And once integration is completed then continuous testing is required. Testing team comes into picture to test the application functionality. So what is the client requirement? What we have developed? Our development activity is working as expected by client or not. That will be tested in our application. Once the testing is completed then continuous deployment is required. So whatever the code that is developed by developers, that code should be deployed into a server and that code we are going to deliver to the client. Once the deployment is completed, people can access our application. We need to perform continuous monitoring. So how our application is working? Are there any issues in our application? Is it working as expected or not? Continuously we should be monitoring our application and that next one is continuous feedback. So how our application is working, how client business is running with our application, is it working as expected by the client or not, are there any issues in the application, is there any change that we have to do as per the client requirement, we need to take the feedback from the client based on that we need to perform our operations continuously. If you see, in every stage, C is available. That C represents continuous. That means it is a continuous activity. Continuous planning, continuous development, continuous integration, continuous testing, continuous deployment, continuous monitoring, continuous feedback. These are seven stages are called as DevOps life cycle stages. Alright, now here, if you see the DevOps logo also, infinite symbol will be available. So here, Dev, here, Ops. So development plus operations is continuous activity in the application. I hope you understood what is DevOps life cycle. Thanks for watching this video. We'll see you in the next video.